All right, guys, we are back. And now we are going to do a coin run. The mics. All right. So let's see here. We've got Supersonic now. Regular Sonic, we got Supersonic. We don't have any of these other guys unlocked. So we're going to go through and we're going to do coin run uh, with Supersonic. Now, <coughs> some of you guys may know that Supersonic is, he's a beast. Um, he's like a Volkswagen bug with a Ferrari engine in it. Um, and that is to say that uh, he gets a little squirrely at times, control-wise, just because he's just so powerful. So you got to kind of use that power sparingly. I mean, it's okay when you're doing the races against... Uh, it's okay when you're doing the races against the uh, Metal Sonic or Metal Knuckles or whatever. But um, when you're trying to maneuver and you're trying to do, like, get coins and stuff, that's when you kind of got to be careful because he's almost too powerful sometimes and you can overshoot certain goals. So let's just go up here. That's what I find is I have to just tap the controller and use his power sparingly when I'm trying to like maneuver in tight spaces and you know collect important things. But uh, you know as far as as far as just flat out racing and cutting corners and stuff like that, he's great. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. See that? Almost overshot it, and I was hardly even pressing the accelerator. He's that powerful. And now you can just literally do like speed running stuff. I mean. Okay, like I'm not kidding, how, I'm not kidding, he is, you have to take a whole different tactic when you are, um, like he can walk on water, see folks, I mean, so you can just start, like doing speed running stuff once you get the rings, because you don't care about being accurate, you just kind of get through the course as fast as you can, I mean he's that, literally that powerful. So I know that didn't look great, <laughs> um, but it, again, it gets the job done, you know. Here we go <coughs> against Metal Sonic, who is no slouch. I mean, he can also kind of walk on water for a limited period of periods of time, but um, you know, he's no supersonic. We're just gonna come right through here and just own, you know. I mean, this is, there's no competition. He's God, basically, in this game. And if you can walk on water, why not walk on water? You know? Might as well. But you can hear his, you can hear his motor. He's like right there. And that's because the way that this game works is it kind of, I think that it has an AI where it, the difficulty that it sets is based on how well you're doing. So if like, if it knows that you're doing really, really well, then it amps up the difficulty like in real time. At least that seems, that seems like how it works to me. When I'm not doing so well, it kind of like stays behind and kind of gives you a handicap. But when you're doing really well, it's like Metal, metal Sonic is like right there with you. So it's kind of weird. All right. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cough. Radical City. Again, you know, with with uh, Supersonic, he's just so freaking powerful. Um, there's some tight spaces in here where you really need to get the coins, and you just kind of have to be careful you don't overshoot Ready, stuff. Set, go. Yeah, you know, when TJ Davis says, uh, gotta keep your feet on the ground, that's like the first rule that I like threw out. <laughs> I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna keep my feet on the ground at all. I'm gonna jump. Okay, up here, you can kind of get this one real quick. I just like, I mean, you don't have to. There's another way that you can go to get that, but I just kind of like to get it out of the way. And then there's this one on the pinball table. Try to avoid getting... And see, they'll take the shortcuts too. And that, that's the way that it goes. 
they see you do it, they'll do it. So kind of like teach them. You grab this one right there. Okay. You come over here. Oh, okay. We're gonna come over here on this track. Oh. Oh. No, I don't want that. I'm gonna come down here. Be very careful to grab this one. There, we've grabbed them all. You get the little notification. The little sound that means you've grabbed them all. Oh, see? See? He's so freaking powerful that it's like almost hard to control the overshooting of that turn. It, that wouldn't happen with regular Sonic. There's just not enough power under the hood. But this, it's like there's... It's kind of like that, that thing where you're, you know, you're playing with a regular... They say you're driving like a regular car, and then all of a sudden you're given like a Mustang, or a, I don't know, whatever kind of powerful car, and it's just almost like too much power. You have to get used to it. All that extra power. Anyway. Now, I'm just going to race. I'm not going to, um, you know, I don't have to maneuver or do any kind of, like, coin grabbing. I can just Ready, race. Set, go! To survive. I love this. Alright, come over here. Now don't overshoot this. There you go, you kind of got to slow down a little bit. You can almost fly. Can you fly? Oh, there's no time. So many different things to do Different time So, you know, as far as controllability, I kind of prefer Metal Sonic. I think he's, he's like, he's got all the, he's got all of the pros of Super Sonic, but he's just got the right amount of power, you know, where drifting is easy. And it's not like too much. It's not like overkill. He's more balanced, I feel. But, you know, it could just be that I'm not used to racing with Supersonic. <coughs> anyway. So we've got the Tails doll, or Mecha Tails. I don't know what they actually call him. In the in official Sega Saturn magazine, they call him Mecha Tails, but maybe that's because they didn't actually know. what to call him. All right, Regal Ruin. Let me get some coffee. Here we go. Got to get those coins. I hope I can remember where they all are. Okay, so the first one, I'm just gonna come straight up here. Again, this guy's so fast, don't worry about going slow with him. He's so fast, he'll make it up. Come over here, grab this one. Okay, then jump over here. And, whoa. Get that one, okay. Come down here. 
Oh, crap. Okay. Again, not pretty, but let's take this shortcut here. This is not, uh... Alright. Basically, we gotta... Try not to fall in the water there. All right, so you see now that we've got, uh, let's get up here and let's come over here. And let's go down here and get this one over here. And I think that should be the last. But don't overshoot it. Oh, of course. See, this is this is where supersonic is just like too power too powerful for me. I don't need that much power to get around. It's just overkill. See, I mean this guy is just insane. Gotta beat Metal Sonic. That guy is crazy. Ah! Are you kidding me? See? Oh, but I came in second. That's right. I came in second. I didn't need to. I was thinking it was like an emerald run where you have to come in first. That wasn't pretty, folks. But it's just like I said, it's because I actually don't do very well with Super Sonic. He's, he's literally almost too powerful for me. See, he just does, he just gets squirrely. And if I do, if I take this shortcut, that guy's probably going to take this shortcut, but, oh well. Nothing I can do about that, just got to outrace him. Oh, no. Alright. Okay, let's do better. I will say this, that um, pop-up, you see more pop-up in this game with Super Sonic because he's so fast, the game can hardly keep up with him, you know? And I can, I can hear that guy right behind me. No, I got trapped behind those pillars. You gotta be careful about that. I like to just bypass that circuit altogether, that round loop, um, and just kind of like cut across it, but you can get trapped behind those pillars, so you gotta watch out for that. All right. Let's see here. We've unlocked, we just need to unlock Metal Knuckles and then Robotnik on Radiant Emerald. Okay, so we're gonna stick it out. Reactive Factory. Let me think. Where are all those coins? All right, I think I got it. Kind of trying to figure out which path I want to take to do this. Oh man, he's just so squirrely. Less is more with this guy. You can overshoot stuff so easily. Alright, let's just... I'm going to come back for that other one later. kind of cruising now. I'm just not gonna... Oh god, see? It's just... 
freaking difficult controlling this guy. For me. <laughs> I need let you know, I do much better with less power. Oh god, which way did they have me go? Come on. Alright. Yes. Okay, let's come up here. Who knows, guys? All bets are off here because I'm not doing so hot. Let's collect some rings. Come over here. Get in here. Ah, and maybe try to get out of here, maybe. Would that look like an asshole? Okay. I got all the rings. Now I can just... I can just try to go... I'm not kidding. He is really hard for me to control. Alright. Let's try to just come in third. Alright. I've done better on that, guys. I have. I just wasn't trying to film it and talk at the same time. I'm sure you guys... Uh, I'm sure you guys have as well. Ready, set, All right, let's go. smoke metal knuckles. We're just gonna eat him for breakfast here. Well, I don't want to eat my words, but let's see. Oh, I can hear him. I can hear him. He's right there. And again, it's like he continues to adjust to how good you are, you know? It is, it's a rubber banding kind of thing, you know? You're doing really well, they like rubber band him to you so that he's doing really good too. He takes all the same shortcuts you do. I think if I spent time, I think if I spent some real time with Supersonic and got used to the power that he, I, I would probably do better with him, to be honest with you. But right now I just don't, it's one of those ones where I just don't feel as in control. Yeah, so for the record, I think Metal Sonic is my favorite. He's, he, like I said, he can walk on water for, or he can float on water for a little bit. He can jump on water indefinitely, as long as you keep jumping. Um, he's got the same floaty kind of drifty mechanic as Super Sonic, but just a tad, just a tad less power. So he's just more balanced. You don't end up overshooting things as much. And Supersonic is kind of like, I don't know if you ever played games like Gran Turismo or uh, any kind of car tuning game where you tune up the car with cheats or something like that. So ridiculous that you can't even handle the car anymore because it's so powerful. That's kind of how it feels with Supersonic. But we're going to try Radiant Emerald with Supersonic because he is, you know, this is like the course for him. And I may not, I don't know, I may not do well on this. This one I always have trouble with. Ready, but I'm gonna give it my best go. shot. You gotta get a lot of coins right off the bat. And I'm already kind of forgetting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of been a while since I played this one. And these guys are, yeah, uh, metal knuckles. They're no joke, man. They can race. Just 
just remembering where you have to turn and stuff is very important to save time. Wasn't able to unlock that because I didn't get enough coins. Or rings, sorry, rings. They are rings. This is Sonic. Now he's going to open it up for me. fast he's like breaking away mm -mm. I'm gonna take this way I don't really like that other way I don't find it to be a shortcut Yes. Yeah, that other shortcut actually isn't really a shortcut. I always find that I come out in front of them if I don't have to make that jump down to the finish line. So I don't know if I could really call that like a tutorial or like do like I do <laughs> because that was kind of ugly, but um, it got the job done. We came in first, which means we unlocked Robotnik and we got the, the finish. Yeah, so another way you could play the game is do your do your emerald run on the first uh, resort island on and then do a coin run immediately after. Unlock Metal Sonic and then play the rest of the game with Metal Sonic. That's a lot of fun too. That's the way I did it the first time. And Metal Sonic is solid. He he has really good control. I would definitely prefer him over and, and you know, I played with Metal Tails, or sorry, Metal Knuckles. I still like Metal Sonic better. He just looks so sad, though. He's, all, he, he's always kind of pouty. I'm gonna go get some more coffee and leave this uh, credit track rolling. This music is one of the things that gave this game so much charm, you know? And I'm really thankful for this music because even the people who don't like the game or appreciate the game for its depth or, you know, all the other great things about it, they're at least able to appreciate this soundtrack and look on it uh, with nostalgia, you know? Because, because it's kind of like a time capsule. It kind of, I told Brian, the virtuous schlub I told him um, I felt like it was a metaphor for Sega in the mid 90s just kind of endlessly optimistic you know it's a little cheesy well no it's it's really cheesy but it's very optimistic you know and Sega you know they had in the early 90s they had the attitude thing going on but they also had optimism, you know, Sega does what Nintendo don't, you know. Towards the late 
towards the late 90s, mid to late 90s with like Knights, games like Knights and Sonic R and even leading into the Dreamcast. Sega was was such an optimistic and kind of cheesy brand, but I think that's what kind of attracted a lot of us to it. So I think that if you could concentrate like the essence of mid to late 90s Sega into a game, this is kind of that game. This and Nights into Dreams, I think, are those games that are just like oozing with that kind of Sega style. These lyrics, man. And Traveler's Tales did an amazing job on this game, I have to say. Don't you think? I mean, graphically speaking, you know, just putting the whole package together, I think they did a great job. For a third-party company to, to uh, take on a first-party license like this, um, they, did a, they did a darn good job with Sonic 3D Blast, and they did a really good job with this, too. So I think that this is perhaps the Sonic game that we all wanted on the Saturn, but we had it and they gave it to us and we didn't appreciate it for what it was because it was a racing game and because we wanted a traditional platformer, you know? It was one of those things where it was right there in front of us. And uh, I know, speaking for myself personally, I did not appreciate this game nearly as much back in the day as I do now coming back to it. I definitely think that um, we got three solid Sonic games on the Saturn. Um, so, you know, I'm not mad or resentful at Sega like I used to be that we didn't get, you know, who cares about Sonic Extreme? I saw the demos. They weren't that good. Um, this is this was a great game, and we got it. So, anyway, I, I encourage you guys to go out and play this game. Try it out. Check it out. Um follow the follow these guides if if you don't want to you can there's a million other sonic r guides on youtube just look up sonic r and coin runs chaos emerald runs there's so many different ways to run this game and and still have success with it anyway until next time this has been dave from sega saturn shiro reminding you that you must play sega saturn catch you later <laughs>